Okay, so I haven't brought my camera out in a long time just because I haven't been in the best mental state lately. I've been pretty sad. I think a lot of it has to do with how much I weigh and how unhappy I am with myself and the fact that I don't really care for myself too much. But I have tried several times to lose weight in the past and I've logged it thinking that that would change anything and it, it didn't. I would diet for a couple of weeks and then quit and then I'd go right back. So I'm not, I don't know, I guess now the difference is, is I'm not really dieting, I'm just kind of changing my lifestyle, I guess. And I know I've said that before, but I'm trying to go cold turkey, just complete, like no sugar, all healthy. It's it's really hard to do that. So my boyfriend, our fiance, actually got me this Fitbit for Christmas, and I've been wearing it almost every day, all day, all night, except for when I have to charge it, and I got sick over New Year's, and so I didn't wear it then just because I didn't feel like having something on my wrist. Noticing how many calories I burn and how much fat I burn in a day and the amount of exercise I do at work because I work at a grocery store in the produce department and that's a lot of work. I've noticed that I I burn a lot of calories and my and I like log some of the food that I'd eat and I would be completely honest with the calories I didn't take like if I intake 3,000 calories that day because I had a whole tub of ice cream to myself along with french fries and a whole bag of chips or you know whatever the case may be I put it down and I realized for how much I eat I don't intake as many calories as I'm burning in a day so I don't understand why I'm overweight because I know in order to lose weight you have to burn more calories than you eat and so I think a lot of it is just what I eat so I might intake a thousand calories worth of chips and that's it but like there's nothing healthy to that you know my body has a hard time processing those carbs and even now eating what I'm eating I notice that I eat a lot of carbs but carbs are just everywhere they're so inevitable but on Christmas I weighed myself and I was 175 for a while I I wouldn't I would only get to 170 and I never surpassed that and finally I've surpassed the 170 mark and you know, I'm going to be 21 in August, and I would really like to be healthy by then. And I told myself that last year, and it seems like I keep telling myself these things. But with the Fitbit, you can log in your like weight and your intake on water, your calories, everything. It even tracks your sleep for you. It's kind of helped me to kind of get a visualization of like what my body's doing and you know what I'm eating and everything I'm like I need to change and so I've been just changing it a little things at a time so I've been eating like the salad for lunch I you know this is just regular salad that comes in a bag at the store and then I boiled this chicken to make shredded chicken and then I just got a little bit of um dressing in here which I might not use at all I don't know but then I just put my fork in here, and then I just close it, and then I go and I have my lunch with Aaron. And then for dinner, I've been eating these like lean cuisine things just because I'm at work so late. I just eat those, and I've been drinking a lot of water. Um, apparently, I'm supposed to be drinking two and a half of these which is very hard for me. I can barely get through one in a day. But I've been trying really hard to get through at least one, but it's not working out for me so well. I'm just getting ready to go get Aaron some lunch. I'm packing up all my stuff. See, here's my phone right here, and then my lunch box, and then my water, and then this is my camera bag. So I just wanted to get on here really quick and just say, I'm trying, I've officially lost seven pounds. So see, it tells you how much you've lost and how many pounds you need to go then this will expand and it'll show your progress See, I started up at 175 I haven't been logging my weight every day so it's kind of all over the place See, these are the days that I did log my weight I've kind of given myself a goal every month that's to lose 10 pounds every single month I need to lose 50 pounds so if I can do that then by June I should be to where I want to be which is six months from now so hopefully I know it's gonna be a long haul it'll be worth it in the end I know it will but I'm just I figured I just kind of log this a little bit and just kind of get a little journey thing going so but that's my lunch 
I'm gonna do that all the time. I know it's gonna get boring, but I, I, I will eventually make it. <sighs> okay, so bad lighting. I just went to the store because I didn't have any bananas for my smoothies or any salad for my lunch. And today is my day off, so honestly, I'm surprised that I just didn't go to McDonald's and get something easy. I kind of made a different breakfast this morning. I had eggs with spinach, and then I cooked up some broccoli with the cheese on it. It was like those like giant steamer things. I went to the store and I got my salad and I got my bananas like I wanted to and I kind of walked around and got some other things and please ignore the dog she's being rambunctious. Okay so I got a couple of other things while I was walking around. I grabbed some rice cakes which I've tried those before and didn't really like them but I've recently seen them with like cream cheese on them so I have an a, just a normal lightly salted rice cake with strawberries and strawberry cream cheese on it and I have never tried it I'm kind of excited I don't know what it's gonna taste like so I'm kind of excited the taste is good the texture is a little weird though like the rice cake kind of reminds me of like I don't know how to explain it I like the cream cheese I like the strawberries. Mm. I could probably eat one of these every single day. Like, it kind of gives you that sweetness that you're looking for. Last bite. <sighs> Ugh. So don't judge me because I just woke up. But I have had this, like, problem this week. I had a mental breakdown yesterday, actually. About it, two weeks ago yesterday, I decided that I was going to eat healthier and better and whatnot so that way I could lose weight so that way by the time I'm 21, I can be the weight I want to be. I had to lose 10 pounds every month and keep it off. Not like, you know, I'm, my starting weight is 175 and then, you know, get to 165 and then in February, make it to 165 again like no I'm gonna hit 165 and then the next month I have to try to hit 155 like keep going down yesterday I had a mental breakdown two weeks ago yesterday on Sunday I weighed 170 and when I weighed myself yesterday morning after working so hard and only having a few slips here and there I went up to 169.8 I was basically 170 I was super upset I was about ready to quit. <sighs> like you have no idea how frustrating that is. Like the first week I was doing good, I got down to 166, had a pretty bad weekend. And then, you know, last week on, you know, Monday, Tuesday, I lost a pound. Wednesday, Thursday, I lost a pound. You know, I was, I was, I was working on it. I was getting down there. I was, you know, I had a bad weekend, went back up. I was like, it's totally fine. Still got a while to get there, but now I only have five days to get there. And I'm probably over 170 because yesterday I was so upset that I'm like, you know what, I'm already at my starting weight. I might as well kick off again tomorrow at 170 again and try to get to 165. So I went to Texas Roadhouse and I ate chips and all that bad stuff that you're not supposed to eat when you're trying to lose weight. So honestly, I'm kind of scared to step on the scale right now because I'm worried that it's going to be way over... But I guess we'll f find out. <laughs> like, look at that. Like, I'm so confused. Ignore my toes because they're gross. Like, I'm so confused. How did I lose a few ounces from eating like that yesterday? Not complaining. But it just doesn't make sense that I can't eat a salad and a smoothie and eggs every morning and then lose weight when I go to Texas Roadhouse. No, the whole main reason why we went over the hill is because I thought, well, maybe my metal metabolism is super slow. And whenever I eat bad stuff, it just really hangs on to it. I bought these supplements right here. They're the Women's Ultra Mega Energy and Metabolism. There's a 30-day supply, and they come in these, like, little packs down here. They look like that. But I was going to take these and hopefully get somewhere because I've been trying this for three years. You guys know I've tried vlogging this so many times. I just, 
I'm, I'm blogging. I don't know if I'm going to quit. I hope not. I'm going to try really hard not to quit. That's my plan. Not to quit this time, no matter how hard it gets. Because yesterday was super hard. Made it over the hurdle. I'm starting over again today. Totally fine. But I just need to not quit. And I'm going to get there whether it takes me a year or not. I'm hoping that I can lose 10 pounds a month. That's my plan. But at the moment, it doesn't even look like I can make it to 165 this month. And people told me, oh, you can't. Like, that's too excessive. That's too much. But even if I don't make the goal, at least I'm still working on the next one. So, like, this month, I don't hit 165. That's fine. Next month, I'm going to try really hard for 155. Even though I got a little bit more pounds to lose, I'm still going to try really hard. So then that way, I have, like, like drive to get there. It's like a motivation kind of thing. I was going to take a run today, but I'm... I don't have time to do that, so I'm going to let the dog out and then probably make my smoothie and stuff and then I got to get ready, so. I literally just got home from work. For some reason I bought these and this is all I want right now. I don't even know why I bought them. It's like, oh, they'll probably be good in the air fryer. Instead, I'm going to eat apples with peanut butter and baby carrots instead of eating <coughs> those egg rolls in the air fryer with the sugar-filled orange sauce. It sounds so good right now. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Oh no, it kind of tastes like, like celery and peanut butter. Like, you can taste more peanut butter than you can celery. So it's like you can taste more peanut butter than you can carrot. So it's not that bad. But I think I like the carrot by himself. Okay, so for some ridiculous reason this morning, I decided that I wasn't going to get up and cook the chicken for my salads like I was supposed to because I don't have any more. And so I was like, oh, I'll just like get something simple from town, like a Power Bowl from Taco Bell or, you know, like a salad from Idaho Pizza or something. But I was like, oh, like, ta like Arctic Circle has salads. So I was like, oh, I'll get one of those. <sighs> yeah, I logged it into my food thing and it's 880 calories. I'm like, I don't even know if I want to eat it. Because it's supposed to be a salad. It's not supposed to be 800 calories. I don't know. Mm. Oh, I'm so stupid. 880 calories for this. I should have just boiled my chicken this morning. I shouldn't have laid in bed. <laughs> Point. Whatever. Then I wouldn't be having this problem. Because I was like, oh, like... I already ate like 500 this morning because of the yogurt and I was like oh I'll just go to like Taco Bell and get one of those Power Bowls but I'm like those are like 500 calories. I was like then I'd be at a thousand and I know I burn a lot but it's just like I'm trying to lose weight here and this is 800. But I paid for it so I don't want to like waste it. I should have just cooked my chicken. That's what I should have just done. So I just want the record to show that I did not eat all of it. And I didn't eat the hard crunchy stuff. That can't, I'm like, there's no way I did eat like 800 calories. That's probably like five, I'd guess. I don't know. But can't believe I did that. I should have just boiled my chicken like I was supposed to, but no. <sighs> So my chicken is going and I am not going to make the same mistake I did this morning. I'm just going to do it really quick even though it is 10 o'clock. There's a bunch of snacks over there. Do you see them? There's cookies and chips and all kinds of stuff over there. No, I don't. Definitely don't need that. Don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Even after my mistake yesterday, I lost one pound. 
I'm running behind for work, so that's why I'm driving. So if it's shaky, I'm sorry. If it's loud, I'm very sorry. So I went to work yesterday and I was talking to my boss and he's like super organic he's very healthy runs all the time only drinks water and so i asked him about the issue i had last week with you know only eating mcdonald's like once and gaining like all the weight that i lost during that week back and he gave me some advice he said eat your biggest meals at breakfast and lunch and then he said for dinner only eat like something very low calorie very low carb he said that if I did that that I would see a really big change you know you fast overnight because you're not eating he said but if you eat the carbs for dinner that you're just sitting there with those carbs and if you eat most of your carbs during lunch you have the rest of the day to burn off all the carbs so at night when you're fasting you're burning more fat if that makes sense and I asked him I said well I you know I burn a lot of calories here at work I said is that enough and he said well my body's so used to it that I need to do something a little extra to push myself so that way I burn more calories and my body's doing something it's not used to so when you're gaining muscle you're burning fat and so I said well should a run help and he's like oh yeah run would help but the whole carbs thing make made complete sense but I weighed myself this morning as you guys seen I was 167 this morning. I still have a couple of days left before the month's over. So I may just hit my goal to hit 165 because on December 25th, I was 175 and that's when I got my Fitbit. So I'm counting from there because that's when I started to like eat a little better and whatnot. So we will see.